ever since Gurudev conducted this uh, Chandi Homa there in that Kali temple, I feel that this already the work began in the subtle world. There's so much reduction in that violence because of the blessings of Dev Kali, all these things are happening. Ayodhya means what? Where there is no conflict. But if you see, if you refer to the history, way back from 500, 600 years, Ayodhya has been facing so many small, small, big, big conflicts in the name of the temple. But now it's all been resolved and then this beautiful temple coming up. I remember Gurudev was hosted by uh, the then Maharani and Maharaja Sahib of Ayodhya. He stayed in the palace and we all even visited Sita's palace and then Kaiki palace. We were remembering the grandeur days of uh, Ramayana days, no? when Ram Sita were living there. It felt so magical and mystical. He had an intuition that he wanted to visit Kali temple there, the Kul Devi of Sri Ram. So they were uh, taking him for another temple near in the city only. Then he said, not this temple. There's one more temple which needs a lot of attention. In fact, when they all went to see it, it was in dilapidated uh, condition. And then many volunteers went there and cleaned up the place, even cleaned the pond of the temple. And then we all went there and Gurudev uh, did a beautiful Sudarshan Homa and Chandi Homa. In fact, I remember our own principal, Sri Sundar Murtiji, he only conducted it along with two local priests. And we were all there. We were fortunate to be uh, witnessing that great event. Here I remember Gurudev's uh, saying that forces in the subtle realm always have a greater say over the material things that are accomplished in the uh, physical world. Ever since Gurudev conducted this uh, Chandi Homa there in that Kali temple, I feel that this already the work began in the subtle world. Before that there were many conflicts. Something or the other used to happen in Ayodhya. After this Chandi Homa, there's so much reduction in that violence. In fact, bloodshed in Ayodhya completely stopped. That Devkali Mandir is such a strong impact. It is even now I can feel the energy there when we were sitting and participating in the Egyas. It was really something to you know cherish because of the blessings of Devkali, all these things are happening. And the same evening, we had wonderful satsang around the pond. And I tell you, it was so, uh, what a divine space. In that temple where there's nobody used to visit, around this pond, more than 1,000 people sitting. Hindu saints and Sufi saints, both were sitting together. That was something, you know, that was the beginning of the harmony in the both communities. That day, it was such a momentous occasion, joyous occasion for all of us. The Muslim Sufi saints gifted Gurudev with the holy book of Quran and Tulsidas Ramayan. We could clearly see how Gurudev planted the seed of harmony and peace among both the communities that evening. When the Supreme Court announced about the verdict, it was people expected violence, but there was no incident of violence. Everybody had that gratitude, both the communities, in fact, you know, that is the achievement. And if you notice from ever since that day till now, there is no violence in Ayodhya, that Devkali's prasad. I was thinking about it, you know, how all these things happened and how it has been fructified, all Gurudev's effort and so many people coming together or both the communities leaders they have all uh, worked for it when the supreme court verdict came you know what gurudev said this whole credit goes to bharat to the people of india you know finish the violence and then be in that space of peace and harmony which everybody requires whether whichever community both of you having that win-win situation people are not feeling i am the loser and uh, they are the winner nothing like that. there were many people who discouraged gurudev in fact they said as a solution kabhi nahi hoga why are you wasting your time but gurudev said nahi hoga hi ye. And he had that strong sankalpa and that positive mindset worked wonders. I feel it's such a beautiful occasion to celebrate for all the humanity.